Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we got flung here to the Forsaken Fortress, and we lost our sword. So I'm not the happiest little camper at all. My sword is all the way up there. Now how we got here is a good question. I mean, we did land all the way over there, and we swam over here. So, you know, that's one way. But now... We gotta use the power of Metal Gear Solid to survive. I just don't wanna be don't wanna be caught. Don't want to be caught. They don't have to ask questions they don't want the answer to. This is just, just a barrel. Just a barrel. No one here but us barrels. But I will take that one out. Okay, so here's the thing. For those who've never played this game, to knock out these guys, you kind of have to beat them with a stick. Literally. Because the only way you're going to be able to fight is with that stick. But if you lose, you get caught. Hey. Listen up, Shade. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the searchlight down. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blow and see if it'll if it could maybe make it drop its weapons. If you did that, you could pick up his weapons with A. Nah, it's, there, there's a faster way to do this. There, there is a 100% faster way to do this. There's a, uh, a pot, usually with sticks. Right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ignore this guy. And then Yeah! Ah, uh, I'm not good of a thrower. But that cancels out that light. Now the only problem is now I gotta win the fight. Come on. Grab the stick. Yeah! Oh, you want you want to go? You want to go? Ah, uh, let's do this. What's up? I am doing terrible today. Ah, dang it! Come on. There we go. Oh, why am I doing so bad? Jesus. There we go. That's what I was trying to do, is kill him. Oh, I got nothing from that. But, at least, at least one of the lights are out. It's still not safe down there. But it'll be more reasonable, you know, walking down there. It's only one light. And that light we'll be able to take out once we go through that room right there. And then go through there. We can climb up there. And that one. That one, we kind of have to go around for that. Like, we'll have to go through the door right there. But we have to take that one out if we want to be able to get past that spot right there. And that's it. So, let's do this. Yep. Step one of Forsaken Fortress. Take out the lights. And, yeah. But at least I can get up uh, easier without the barrel. I'm still going to use it just in case. <laughs> Moblins are so stupid. They think they know everything. They think they know my stealth. I am but a barrel. Alright, let's do this. Alright, I'm gonna take up the important one first. So I have to go through this. And it'll lead me out on the other side. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna backtrack. But I have to be careful, I have to be careful. Because there's, uh, there's a lot of enemies in here that can kill me. Woo! Careful. You can also fall and that would suck. Pretty sure this might be a dungeon map or a key. Dungeon map. Yeah, because technically this is a dungeon. It's a later dungeon. But it's, uh, but we're, we're also in it for the first time. 
This is one of the prisons that you get stuck in. I'm just trying to see if there's any hearts in here. Because we're going to need uh, health. Badly. Anything? See, I want health, but it only wants to give me money. But yes, I'd love to be rich, but I'm dying here. That would have been bad if I didn't grab that, honestly. Yeah! Thank you for the help, uh, for the money. But I don't need the money. I need a heart. I'm gonna die. Alright, to get to this one, you go here. And this is the important one. So let's do this. And if we at least take out all three of them, then, uh, then uh, we'll have a mass majority of this place where we can visit. Gonna get caught. Okay, it's all the way over there. Just ignore me, buddy. I'm not here for you. Not yet, at least. I'm only here for the barrel. Oh, where you going, buddy? All right, let's do this. I'm ready. Well, I don't know why it didn't want to dodge. Bring it. Ooh, he's a he's a feisty boy. Yeah, as a kid, this was a challenge for me. Yes, because I want you to do that. There we go. That took that took some focus. The sticks are the, the worst weapon in this game. By far. Okay, now we can go the opposite way. Let's go here, get this little cutscene. So now we have access... Uh, I mean, aside from the one thing we have to stealth around, we have access to a big portion of the outside. If we fall, we're screwed. But I need this. I think this is a compass. I'll take a sip of my drink while I uh, while I wait. Uh, I'm just drinking normal water today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, now we get the compass. Now we can at least see chests we're missing. Okay, this one, you can easily screw up as you can see how it moves. Notice how the, the rope moves from side to side, confusing the player. Yes, I know it's confusing because it's dangling there saying, grab me, grab me, and you say, no, I don't want to grab you. Okay, I think this is a cutscene right here. Yeah, we're right there. Okay, but this is it. The last, uh, the last lights. And then we have free roam outside. I've only been hit twice. Or, I mean, I've been hit a few times. But I've only lost one heart. No, no. Yes, because I want you to run. All right, buddy, let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Where you going, buddy? Yeah, didn't get hit that time. Seriously, what is with the money? Like, yes, I love having money. Money, 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 money. Like uh, like Mr. Krabs always says. But in this situation, we need to be uh, stealthy. But now we have free roam at the place. Well, almost. We we still have the uh, insides we gotta avoid. Yeah. Yep. And as long as I don't screw up this next part, I'm good. Had to take a deep breath for that. Yeah, see, we're almost there. We need to get there. 
which means it's in there. And I need to push that down so that way in the event that I do get caught, I could just cheese my way back up here. So you grab this. And yes, you jump down. It's okay. The box will bring you back up. And then you just push that box with all your might. Like a real man. And grab all this loot that you couldn't earlier. Look at that. Maybe Mr. Krabs was right whenever he said... I'm, I'm, I'm starting to believe that. <gasps> a heart! We're good, boys. We're good. Now the money is worth it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Last one. Yes, because that's what I wanted you to do. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I am ready for this, because this is the last... Well, I mean, not the last, but it's the last inside stealth part. But it's also one of the hardest, if you, you know, you're not prepared. You only have to avoid him. But, you need this. Now, luckily, these guys are stupid. Like, completely stupid. Oh, God, you got a little rat. Come on. Okay. We're good. There we go. Now there is one more of those dudes we have to avoid. He's the easiest to avoid. But there it is. That's where a sword is right there. You saw that little speck. And we have no lights, so we don't have to worry about any of the uh any of the lights catching us. Here we go. Our friend here is a, is a little bit smarter. He thinks he sees and hears us, but he doesn't. Let's let, let's let him do a pass by. Let's let him do a pass by, you know? It's a beautiful night. We're just a, we're just a magical barrel that just sits here waiting. <clears throat> That's right. That's right, big boy. Just wait. Dee -dee. Ooh. He smells something. Don't give up yet. He can still catch you. Luckily, he's stupid. They're all stupid. <laughs> can you imagine him being able to see us from here? And, and he still doesn't do anything about it? He's like, what the hell was that? Alright. This is it. The make or break moment. I mean... Pretty sure this is okay. Yeah, I need this. First off, you need to do this. It's okay. It's okay. I promise you, you'll be able to get back up. Same thing as last time. The reason you want to do that is because these will be here when you get back. Because you will come back here later in the game. There you go. Now you can make your way up here easily. Whoa. Come on. There we go. Let's rock. I'm ready for this last challenge. All I have to do is sidle. You know, whenever I get back up here, that is. There we go. Okay. 
if you had the lights on, this would have been like where you would have to realize you'd have to backtrack unless you were that lucky. But I always take out those lights just because I want to be able to do this part. It's not this one. It's this one right here. This one always has the lights on. And if they see you, you're caught. <clears throat> so it's easier to take out those lights. Um, and then you're good. See, look at this. You get you get free hearts by doing this. Look at this. I'm, I'm healing. I don't even need healing anymore. But it's good to have them, you know? All right. Where's my damn sword? My sword! Yes! My instrument of killing! Yes! What? Oh, God! Give me my sword first. I'm not afraid of you anymore. You got back the hero sword you dropped. Now you're in business. Take care not to drop it again. I won't. Let's go. You wanna go? Bring it. First hits on you. First hits on you. Come on. Throw the first punch. Throw the first punch. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Ah! There you go. That was the only one I'm giving you. Let's do this. I'm ready now. Yeah! Get up, boy. You wanna go? I'm not afraid of you, moblins. And now I get my sword back. I'm too good for this. I've killed many. Time to go save my sister. Like a real hero. Hello? Hello? Huh? That looks like my sister. <gasps> oh yeah, that's her all right. <laughs> Need to get my eyes inspect. What the hell? I sense an evil presence. My spider senses are tingling. Oh God, a giant bird. My one weakness. But I'm not afraid of this bird. Ah! Uh, my brain. It pecked my brain. Can you let me go, please? I'm begging you. Hello? I, I know you don't speak English, but maybe you understand me? Somehow? Hello? Who's that? Who are you? Let me go. My friend, my my buddy, my pal, uh, my, my new friend, my amigo. No, no, anything but that. Oh, God. Oh, that hurt. I was skipping on the water for two hours. The pain. Shade. Shade. Wake up, Shade. Pull yourself together, Shade. Uh, what? Where the hell am I? Huh? Ah, I found a boat. Cool. I guess I'm that awesome. Well, have you come to your senses yet? What? Who said that? Oh, dear God! You are surprisingly dull-witted. How dare you insult me? Ah, my head! Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Shade. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I like how he's just sitting there listening to the story like a good little boy. He's like, this is a good story. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him, 
the shadow that commands that monstrous bird. His name is Ganon, he who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Shade, do you still wish to save your sister from I him? I wish to kick his ass. And you yes. will do anything to save her? I will kick his ass, yes. Uh, I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail, and a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. While the sale must come first, do not feel limited to buying only it. Once you have it, feel free to stock up on anything else you think you may need. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Heck yes. We're on an island. Windfall Island. Oh god, them. They're acting too tough. <gasps> piggy. No, ignore the piggy. Ignore how fun it would be to catch the little piggies. I want to catch the piggies. Ignore that man. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Hello there, friend. I know I, I came here for you. I... My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading f for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet, mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are travelers well. Oh, yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it could help them travel the dangerous seas about their, t about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? You know what? Yeah, I'll buy that. It's cheap. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use those funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that. You got a boat sail. Exactly what we needed, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can sail the seas. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have sailed... And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. Okay, so now we have the power of the sail. 
There we go. Do that. Actually, no, I like it on the Z button. Now I can just tap it. Now, I don't think there's... If I remember correctly, there's not much else we can do at this current moment. I'm not going to let the kids bully me. How's it going? Got to say hi to the ladies, you know? I'm always a ladies, man. Get out of my way. All right, let's go talk to the King of Red Lions. Ladies? Hey! Hey! Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well. Then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hole and press A to climb aboard. Set the sail you got to Y, Z, or X, and press that same button to hoist it. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The arrow that appears behind me indicates wind direction. Use the analog stick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press A to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? Yes. I'm lying. Ah, one more thing. When you are out at sea with few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get lost at sea, simply press forward on the cross pad to open the chart and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let it carry us to the east. See, I will do that, but we're currently out of time, King of Red Lions. So let's tell the audience. We'll see you in the next episode when we go to our next location. I don't know where it's at. I'm looking suspicious. I don't know where our next location's gonna be. I don't know where I am. And I don't know why he yawned behind me. Ugh, there's sand in my boots. I am not a happy boy. But, on the next episode, that's where we'll be heading. So look forward to that. But until then, guys, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And I will talk to you all later.